So hi everyone, yes I'm at Combratex with Gordon, with Paul, with everybody, but I'm here today at the Fror Systems Suite. Now Fror, that's Roar with an F. Why am I talking about this company you may not have heard of before? Because they're introducing new cooling into the market. And it's kind of cool, just like our sponsor. If you're interested in some good merch, then head to merch.techtechpotato.com. <laughs> So why has Fror been in the news? Well, they're designing cooling for systems kind of like this. This is a small form factor PC by Zotac. It's called the Zbox PI430 AJ with AirJet. And uh, I'll show some B-roll, but what we have here is two of their brand new, unique cooling system um, AirJet minis, essentially. What you have here is a solid state cooling device using vibrating membranes to force air through. What does this mean? Well, one of these minis can provide between four to five uh, cool watts of cooling power, and you essentially attach it either direct die or to a copper heat plate. We've got a system over there which has been retrofitted with three of these in a laptop form factor, the Galaxy Book Pro 2. What I have here, this, uh, this um, mini PC, as we can see behind me, you've got the system that doesn't have the air jet running at 1.2 watts, system with the AirJet running at 6.2 watts. That's just, you know, the, effectively the cooling that two of these can provide. Right now, they're a very new company. New, that they've been formed for about four years. They're based in the Bay Area, but manufacturing happens here in Taiwan. Came out of stealth in December and kind of went big at CES. Uh, that's when they first introduced some of uh, their technology. I've been trying to ask questions about this because the, this essentially replaces a fan in a lot of small form factor devices, even perhaps some big uh, devices in the future. And the idea is that it's uh, very thin, uh, 2.8 millimeters, plus you need about another one millimeter on top, so maybe it can go in a smartphone, if you think about it. Um, but it, yeah, providing four watts of cooling, they, can, they consume up to a maximum of about one watt power, um, which I know some people have kind of uh, hit on and saying, well, that's not that efficient. It, uh, you don't get fans for free, that's their words, not mine. Um, but it is within the realms of the efficiency cooling of a fan, and you can do it at, say, 50%, 25%, 75% uh, speed. So it's not just a full-on, full-off. They, they do actually do full ramping and full hysteresis. But right now, they're still kind of a small company, being able to design somewhere near you know, 10, 20,000 units of these um, a month in their own factory here in Taiwan. But right now, they're working with partners in about 30 different markets, anywhere from LED lighting to automotive to notebooks to mini PCs. They're even looking at SSDs and SSD enclosures because that's where this technology could really help. We all know that the PCI 5 SSDs are coming out and they're you know, up to 8 watts power uh, consumption. So putting a couple of these, perhaps on an SSD, would be great. In terms of products, they have this one, which is the AirJet Mini. They have a double length one, which is the AirJet Pro. Uh, those were designed based on what they were doing in stealth with partners. And since then, obviously, they've had a lot more people reach out. So in future designs, when the efficiency is going to go up, that's going to get even better, you know, so they say. Right now, they've been working with most of the laptop manufacturers for a number of years, uh, finding out what sort of designs that these can go in. And with the Series B funding, one of their major investors is uh, Qualcomm Ventures. And we all know how serious Qualcomm has been trying to get into the laptop space. So with Windows on Snapdragon devices, we all know they're coming out with their new, that new vehicle, perhaps the end of the year, beginning of next. So really exciting to see whether this cooling could be applied to that. Make your laptops thinner and uh, provide better cooling, quieter cooling. It's, uh, it, these things, you can't hear them at all. I think they said 21 decibels. Um, which is you know, perfectly fine. I, I'm, I can quite happily live with that. One thing I did ask is you'll notice in the design that it's designed to push air and obviously when something's a uh, micro uh, mechanical membrane, you need to be able to not get dust particles in there. So they do have dust filters on these and that's going to be really important I think for the longevity of these products. I don't know about you, but I'm going to stay close to these guys to see what they come out in the future, see what their partners produce, because they do have a really innovative product. We've seen new cooling solutions come into this market before and kind of fade away. These ones, you know, with the right price, I believe that they, they can stay. In terms of pricing, actually, I did ask what the effect of the cooling, the price uh, uplift over a standard fan. 
They said it's obviously going to be a bit more expensive than a fan. This is a premium product for them. They're going to try and go into some of those premium markets, whether that's 50% uh, 50, 50 more or 2x more. Uh, I think we'll have to wait and see until these first products come out into the market. And it looks like the Sotac is going to be the first.